KL punya jam, wuh, boleh ninggal kalau tak ada muzik. Because for your car, the system sounds flat. Most likely, it is not tuned. Macam mana nak tune kan? So today, we will learn about DSP and its function. DSP is short for Digital Signal Processor. Senang nak kata, DSP is like the brain of your car audio system. Basically, what does it do? The audio source connected to a DSP will output to amplifier or speakers. Dia ambil audio signal dari source, cleans it up, split them into highs, mids and lows, then dia akan hantar to the right output. Okay, now you know what it is. Perlu ke ada DSP ni? DSP can correct any default sound. Usually, your car audio is weak or unbalanced, but DSP can fix EQ and tongue alignment. Huh? Tongue alignment? Apa tu? Let's give an example. If you were to sit at the driver's seat, obviously the speaker at the driver's seat is way closer to you than the one at the back seat opposite of you. Sound will not arrive to you at the same time because of the distance. So, if you were to set in using a DSP, you can adjust where the center stage would be. If you want the driver's seat to be center stage, then the speakers that are closer to you will be delayed a bit so that the sounds from the furthest speaker will arrive at the same time to your ears. So, correct time alignment would produce the optimal potential of your speaker's quality. And then, it is customizable. With full control over the EQ. Let's say, I would like to listen to EDM. I would want my bass to be heavier. So basically, boleh set it got taste korang. Oh, also not to forget, it is also available in plug and play form. Model such as Masui, Audison. Why plug and play? Because you can prevent from getting your car warranty voided. How? Ha, kita akan explore that topic in a later video. So make sure you are subscribe tau. Let's recap. We can get one balanced sound, vocal clearer, and bass tighter, customized to your own taste. Driver's seat experience would be optimal as you can set the time alignment and EQ. Third. Reducing fatigue during long drive because you may have a better experience of the music you are playing. KL punya jam, wuh! Boleh ninggal kalau tak ada muzik. DSP is very good starting point to know about the car audio system but we cannot cover everything just yet. So if you have any question, just drop your comment down below. So if you learned something new from this video today, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't know, we also have our Facebook community where we can share all about the car audio system with you guys over there. And don't forget to follow our TikTok account as well when you guys can look out for teasers and also snippets. See you guys soon. Bye!